So I'm here in like my favorite place in the whole world where all of my clubs get built. I'm at ECPC in the build shop. Let's take it through my bag. Here we go. Okay, so I've always wanted to do like just the full, like everything. What's in the bag? The clubs, the whole special items, the head covers, the whole thing. So let's just start with the driver. So I have my SC stands for Steez and Tees. My buddy Brian LaRoche has like this tournament company. He puts on these things called Battle of the Beach. This is like the official head cover of Battle of the Beach, the Steez and Tees. So Mel, Brian LaRoche, shout out to those guys. They're in Florida. This, God, this is hard to get off. So Epic Speed Triple Diamond Driver. So I've, I've gone through sort of a driver journey. So when I first started with Callaway, they put me in an Epic Max LS. It was a fun driver, I liked it, but I knew I was leaving meat on the table for the way that I launch it. So then Kellen Watson on the truck goes, well, why don't you try this head with this shaft combination and this ball and yada, yada, yada. And he built this for me. So it's an Epic Speed uh, Triple Diamond 8.5. It's in the upright setting uh, at 8.5, but it's got a really bitchin' shaft. Let me check this out. So it is a Mitsubishi Tensei 1K and I believe they call it the first responder, so it's to honor our men and women, um, ambulance, fire departments, police officers, everybody that helps us and keeps us safe. It's very patriotic, it's pretty cool. So that's the Tensei 60TX. Uh, it's tipped half an inch at 45 and a quarter inches. And for me, like if we're gonna use ECPC, the atmosphere here for carry distance, I carry that about 280, I'm about like a 160 to 165 ball speed guy. Not a big swinger, but I fling it out there because I'm a small guy. So there you go. So then we're going to go into the three wood, which is just serious tour sauce. But this is a shout out to Sahali Country Club, Sahali Players Championship. Near and dear to my heart, I'm from Seattle. So that's why I have that head cover. It'll stay on there for a while. But we have the Epic Speed Triple Diamond three wood with the adjustable hosel. So when you can't get these in the store, it's super, super, super tour saucy. I got it right off the truck. Uh, but oddly enough, it's the one that I really want and the one that actually fits me the best. So once again, shout out to Kellen, uh, Kellen Watson who fit me into this. Uh, it's 15 degrees. It's actually a 14 and a half degree head. So on the truck, it may say 15 here, but once they put the laser on it to find out the true loft, this one's actually a 14 and a half. Uh, once again, it's got a Tensei 1K 70TX. This is right at 42.75 inches in length. Um, and this is tipped an inch and a half. So for me, Three woods are kind of a weird one. I only want my three wood to carry 255 off the ground. That's all it needs to do it off the TA. If I can get 260 out of it, carry, awesome. But for the reason I like this is one, it spins, one, and it goes up in the air. That's why this three wood has been kind of a unicorn for me. So really loving, lo loving that setup. And it kind of reminds me of a three wood I played about 10 years ago that someone stole from me. So God just kind of, just kind of gave me another one. Here we go, we're excited about that one. So this is the one I get the most comments on, and the Rombo. So this was made specifically for John Rom. It's called the Triple Diamond T. So this is where it gets interesting. It's got a very deep face. It's got a lot of camber in the sole. So this, this five wood is actually meant to kind of get into the ground. So John Rom is a player that really likes to beat down on, on his furry woods. And that's what this is kind of designed to do. So, People always equate like a deep face, well maybe it's not going to be, it's going to be lower spin, it's going to launch, so not this one. This is actually very spinny out of the bottom and very hot out of the top, so it's very versatile. So I'm a player that kind of pops out of the shot, tends to pick it off the ground. I live and die out of the bottom of, of a five wood, so that's why this is so awesome for me. It's kind of like handmade for John Rahm and actually, oddly enough, is perfect for me. So it has a... Mitsubishi Kylie 80TX shaft. I think this is 41 and a half inches. I carry this about 235 in the air off the ground. Um, always been a five wood player. Always liked the versatility of a five wood. I can hit them low, I can hit them high. This one I can hit out of the rough, I can hit it off the tee. Um, so three woods and five woods for you folks at home. I'm more discerning about how I pick those than I am even my driver. Drivers are pretty easy to, you screw around enough, you can find one that works. Three and five woods are very, very hard to find. So if you find two that work, you kind of hold on to them forever, which is a lot of the reason why the guys on tour, you'll see a, a guy hang on to a, a three wood like Henrik Stenson for 12 years because they're hard to replicate and everybody kind of knows what it's supposed to do for them. Oddly enough, these ones do exactly what I need them to do. So good luck wiggling those, one uh, those ones out of my bag. Now we're gonna get to the irons, which is 
probably the part of my bag that I'm most excited about. So when I first started with Callaway, I had x Ford CBs and like this weird combo set with like Apex MBEs and I wanted to kind of try to try everything. And just on a whim, I was like, I'm gonna try the Apex 21. So these are like a pure game improvement iron. So what I did to them, as you can see, we put all three pull like a six iron. So I bent, it's really hard to see in camera, but I bent all the offset on, out of them. So if you put, if you go to like a PJ Tour Superstore and you set this iron down, you're gonna see it's actually got quite a bit of offset. But I bent them all two degrees weak. So what that does is it bends all the offset, uh, offset out of them and it actually adds a little bit of bounce to the sole. So what I did to counteract that was I put a really stiff shaft in, so all my iron shafts are dynamical Tour Issue X100s, and then I play a really spinny golf ball. So I have a very high launching, very low spin head, with a low launching shaft and a spinny golf ball. So that combo, if you're following me here, it all kind of turned into this perfect combo for me with the iron. So I don't have to like split my sets up anymore. I can literally go forth through pitching wedge through the whole set. And it was always hard for me to find a gap between my five wood and my five iron. Now I can just play a four iron. I don't have to screw around. The four iron goes 220, the five iron goes 205. And they gap in 15 yard gaps all the way down to the pitching wedge. The pitching wedge specs out right at 45 degrees, so I don't have like a super strong pitching wedge. Um, all my irons are at standard length and a degree upright for the lying goal. But I'm really stoked on my irons right now. So once again, it's hard for me to find irons I like. Really loving these, and they go against every inst gear junkie instinct I have. I should have a full set of TCBs or some crazy blades. Um, but I'm playing some of the best golf I've played in like five or six years with these because they give me the ball speed, they give me the forgiveness, and when you hit them on the nuts, they fly, they spin, and a lot of that's testament to the ball in my pocket, which I'll explain here in a second. But let's get to the wedges really quick. Shout out to Anthony Taranto. So I have the Jaws MD5 Raw, and I've had this for like a year. I had this before I even, worked, before I even started working at Callaway. Um, but I have a 5010S, which is right at 50 degrees. So this is my Luke wedge. As you can see, it's got the green lightsaber, Luke Skywalker. It's a Star Wars theme, so follow along here. Then we go to the 5408C for the Vader Wedge. It's right at 54. And then this one is really, really hard to see because it's got a pound of lead tape on it, but this is a PM grind, but it's actually my Obi-1 Wedge. It says Obi-1 in blue, and blue for his lightsaber underneath that. And I actually have a 64, which is my Yoda Wedge, which is Yoda green, but I usually don't play a 64. But Garrett Pond, who built all my clubs in this shop, put what he calls a rainbow grind on my Phil Nicholson wedge. So he shaved off this part of the wedge. So if you notice on the PM grind, the leading edge kind of goes out this way and it's very sharp. So what he did is he shaved it all down so it's straight. It's got a very dull leading edge. He gave me a little bit more relief out of here. He calls it the rainbow grind, but this lob wedge, I've had it like this for about a month now and I'm loving it. Um, and all my wedges have dynamic gold S400 two issue shafts, the black ones. Uh, and that's what we're doing there. Okay, so we're going to the putter. I'm kind of a putter junkie. I kind of like equal opportunity with the putter. Um, so Joe Toulon built this one for me on the truck about a month and a half ago. It's the Odyssey two ball 10 with a white hot insert and the red shout. This was the, uh, the putter that John Ron putted for for the first half of the season. Um, I'm loving this and what it forces me to do is kind of make my stroke square to square. So whenever you have a putter with a center of gravity that goes way back like this, it's heavy and stable, it sort of complements a square to square stroke. So I started putting cross-handed and my stroke kind of started going straight down the path as opposed to like open door, closed door. This putter complements that really well. It's got a really soft face. So I'm liking this so far, but like I said, I'm about as loyal to putters. I'm not very loyal to putters, that's the moral of that story. Um, then we're gonna go to the golf ball. So I'm in the Chrome Soft X golf ball. Um, no particular superstitions around the numbers. I like this ball because it spins. I really don't care. It's, it's obviously fast off the driver and does all the things that modern golf balls do. I like it because it spins. I'm looking for spin wherever I can find it. And this thing spins a lot, especially from 180 yards and in. Um, and I found this in combo with my woods and my irons. This is the glue that holds the whole party together. So the Chrome Soft X, if you're a player that likes to play with spin, move it left to right, up and down, um, and really likes to control your tra tra trajectory, that is the ball. We obviously have the LS for the people that overspin it, but for people like me, that's the golf ball. 
Uh, Tour Authentic Glove. My buddy Austin Tour would kill me if I didn't mention this. Uh, I'm loving these gloves, by the way. I, I played in other brands' gloves for 25 years. Never thought I would switch out of gloves. I'm really digging these things. One is they don't, for whatever reason, if my hands sweat, they don't really dry out, oddly enough. I don't know what they put in the leather. Uh, and they look cool. They're really simple. So the Tour Authentic Glove was Phil, Xander, Rom, everybody plays that glove. Um, and I got some cool stuff in my bag I want to show you here really quick. Let me just take this out of my pocket. So the two things that I will always have in my pocket are white wood tees. I love white wood tees. And then I have, when I was at WRX, I forget the guy's name, but he sent me, he was like read my articles or something like that, and he sent me this really, really cool um, ball marker. Let me show that to you. And the cool thing about it is the movie The Natural, uh, there's a bat, and the bat's called Wonder Boy. So when Roy Hobbs breaks his bat at the end, um, he had a lightning bolt on his bat, and he called his bat Wonder Boy. And so this guy knew I was a big fan of that movie, and put J-Dub and a lightning bolt on there to signify the Wonder Boy bat. And I don't know how this happened, but I've been able to play LA Country Club like four or five times. So I always steal one of their pitchforks out of LACC. So I have like a hundred of these things. But I always have an LACC pitchfork. I don't even use pitchforks, I just have it in there so people think I'm cool that I played at LA. But uh, those are the things that are always in my pocket. Um, yes, I listen to music when I play golf. And uh, that's pretty much the whole thing. So if you see me show up at the golf course, like this is the this is what we got going. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions, uh, go to the World of Wonder website. Obviously, you can DM me on uh, Instagram at Johnny underscore Wonder. But uh, I love my bag right now. I'm really into it. And uh, just focusing on one company, and when I was at WRX, I could kind of get anything from anybody. Now I'm like in an ecosystem, and my scores are going down. How does that work? I'm getting better. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. Until the next What's in the Bag. We're out of here.